It's 4.30 on WKYT this morning. Lexington police are searching for a man who robbed a gas station at Knife Point just a couple of hours ago this morning. The message police and school leaders have for drivers as another school year begins in Fayette County. And a new direction for the Center Point project in downtown Lexington. With new developers stepping in, city leaders are now weighing in on the future of the project. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning to you and welcome in. Great to have you with us here on Wednesday, August 12th. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Pretty significant day it because is. it is the first day of school in Lexington. It's going to be a gorgeous day for it. Definitely not a bad morning to be out there waiting for the buses. The highs will be in the upper 70s today. Hey, let's check in with meteorologist Micah Harris for a look at that back to school forecast. Good morning. It is perfect. Good morning, guys. And we're looking outside, seeing a clear skies as well. First alert defender live radar. There is your shot. Nothing going on. You know what? We may not even show First Alert Defender for the next 48 hours. We'll just stick with the sky cam. That's a good looking shot, too, as we're looking over the lights of Hamburg. Temperatures outside in the 60s. We'll finish off right around 60 degrees, maybe even some bottoming out in the upper 50s. But it's a good looking day in store. That goes into the afternoon, too. Sunny skies, temperatures right around 78 degrees. You know we're going to hold on to that another day. But what about after tomorrow? I'll get into that into your weekend forecast in just a few minutes. Okay, see you then. Thank you. And new this morning, Lexington police are searching for a man who robbed a gas station at Knife Point. It happened around 2 o'clock this morning at the Shell Station on Richmond Road. Officers say the man was wearing a camouflage mask and shirt when he threatened the clerk with a large knife. The man took off toward Lake Park Road with the cash. K9 units tracked the suspect to the Value Place Hotel. So far, no arrests have been made. The suspect is described as 5 foot 9, weighing 190 pounds. This morning, a suspect is behind bars charging the death of a Clay County man. The suspect's name has not been released. Deputies say he's charged with solicitation to commit murder. This morning, officers are searching for a second suspect in the case. Police say the victim, 24 year old Trevor Dykes, was shot outside his home back in July. Dyke's family says the arrest comes as a big relief. This is the moment we've been waiting on ever since this has happened. We want to see justice drop down to who done it, why they done it. We want to know why they done it and who done it and who's behind it. Last night, the sheriff said he planned to continue the search into the night until the other suspect is in custody. New this morning, Lexington police say a man showed up to UK Hospital with a gunshot wound overnight. Police say the 26 year old was accidentally shot by a family member at a home on Dalton Court. Officers say the family member was cleaning their gun when the man was shot in the leg. He's suffering from non life threatening injuries. Officers say no one will be charged in this. Unfortunately, no one else was injured. New this morning, a man was able to walk away unharmed after a frightening overnight crash happened around 1.30 on Sandersville Road. Emergency crews say the driver lost control of his car near a train overpass. The driver's car spun out, hit a tree, and flipped upside down. He was able to escape the wreck through the back passenger door. And the whole car flips over, so the first thing I try to do is get to the closest exit. I smell the, the car burning and stuff, so I try to get out the vehicle as soon as possible. So I seen a car come up on me. So as soon as the car came up, I asked him for help because my phone was dead. Green told us he could have been burnt after his car caught on fire after the crash. He also says he's lucky to be alive. Well, it is a new chapter in the long story of the Center Point project in downtown Lexington. This morning, new developers have taken it over, and we've learned something about who they are. The Center Point block, right there in the center of downtown, has been empty for years. It's now a large hole, and work on the project appears to have stalled out months ago. Now, UK law student Matt Collins, whose father is a billionaire businessman, has teamed up with real estate investment management firm Bridgeton Holdings to develop Centerpoint. The original developers, the web companies, will become a minority partner in the project. Our vision of this project is this, this will be a catalyst for a renaissance uh, of downtown Lexington. For it to be um, a long term uh, asset to the community and to, to, to be able to uh, benefit the entire community is, is pretty exciting. And they also say they want a mixed use development for Center Point. Collins said they're not making any promises, but they are optimistic they can get the project done. 
So what are Lexington city leaders saying? Centerpoint came up during council work session yesterday. Garrett Weimer has the story. It's the center of the city. But for years, it's been the center of controversy the size of a city block. And to restore that to a viable piece of property that has amenities for downtown is crucial for downtown to become the, the place we want it to be long term. On Tuesday, with flowers at the seat of their late colleague Ed Lane, Council returned from its summer recess first with a closed work session where members were briefed on the new owners taking over the Center Point project. Mayor Jim Gray said new investors taking over the project is a positive first step. But in City Council's work session, he paused a discussion on tax rates to confront questions about City Hall moving to Center Point. While the developer may want the city to move City Hall and they are free to make any proposal. There has been no commitment to do that, and there will not be any commitment to do that or anything else on the property unless it is in the best interest of the taxpayers. Our taxpayers have options, and our city has and will continue to consider all possible options. Other council members echoed that. Information is critical, and people want to know what's going on. I think. What we can do to make sure that happens is very much appreciated. So thank you, Mayor. In Lexington, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. A city spokesperson said in a release yesterday afternoon that the development team will work with city leaders in both the private and public sectors to gauge interest in the project over the coming days. Investors told Miranda Combs that they hope to have the cranes moving in six months. We're coming up on 437 now on WKYT This Morning. Later today, a forum will be held to discuss two of Lexington's Civil War statues and a historical marker. That meeting will discuss the John Hunt Morgan and the John C. Breckenridge statues. They are near the Main Street Courthouse. The panel will also discuss a historic marker in Cheapside Park. The marker notes the history of slave trading. Mayor Gray is scheduled to answer questions from board members at 3.30 today. This morning, three Michigan men are facing charges for a counterfeit credit card case in Lexington. Police arrested the three men at a home Monday in the Hamburg area. Lexington police say the men tried to use the fake credit cards at Walmart. Officers say credit card crimes are becoming more common here. They say criminals will often put stolen credit card information on a card, but it will have the suspect's name on it. Well, seven people are due in a Franklin County courtroom today in connection to a high-profile bourbon theft. Nine people were indicted in the case in April on charges of stealing more than $100,000 worth of bourbon. Investors, investigators say the bourbon was stolen from two different distilleries. The alleged crime ring started more than seven years ago. The suspect's hearings are scheduled for 1.30 today. The eight county students among those returning to school today. Big day. School leaders and Lexington police want to make sure that you are ready for extra traffic out on the roads. WKYT's Monique Blair has the story. It's that time of year. Taking her school shopping, waited to the last minute, as most people do. As the school supplies quickly fly off the shelves, students are preparing for a big day Wednesday. She's excited, so that makes me excited. I'm excited to meet uh, my new friends and teachers, but it's also kind of getting in that first day of school jitters that kind of worries me. But once I get through it, I think I'll be good for the rest of the year. For drivers, though, it's not first day nerves that they're concerned about. The traffic, the traffic, Taste Creek, New Circle, everywhere. Not only more cars on the road, but you'll also be seeing school buses. Now we're going to be out picking up the most precious cargo there is, so we want them to be patient and take their time and just. Uh, wait, try not to run that stop arm when that stop arm is out. Lexington police will have extra patrols out Wednesday morning helping with traffic, but also enforcing the laws. All summer long, those lights haven't been flashing, so that's a new change as well, dropping those speed limits during school hours. Add to that, police say it's crucial that parents are teaching their children the rules when crossing streets. It's hard when we've got the younger ones to explain to them the importance of using crosswalks, and sometimes us adults are not the best role models of doing that. Well, Fay County students won't be alone today. Students in all of these Central Kentucky districts are also returning to class this morning. A reminder: while Madison County schools go back today, students of Daniel Boone Elementary won't be going back until Monday because of ongoing renovations to the school. So. 
Hope you have a great first day. Yeah, exciting time, really is. Okay, time this morning is 4:40, and WKYT this morning is just getting started. A good night's sleep may seem like a luxury, but according to experts, it's something we should try to attain every night. Moms Every Day has some advice coming up. And we're looking across the way, seeing the live sky camera. Beautiful, beautiful weather outside. It really is nice, not only for today, but for tomorrow. But how about out into your weekend? I'll have that latest forecast coming next.